And welcome back, rugby fans, to Rugby 411. As always, I'm your host. My name is Joshua Shibata, and this is our MLR Pick'ems for week number six of the 2023 season. Uh, it is going to be another exciting game weekend of MLR rugby action. Four games on Saturday, one game on Sunday. Two teams on a bye it includes the San Diego Legion and your reigning defending MLR champions, the Rugby New York Ironworkers. Hopefully this weekend by will give uh, that team a chance to kind of recoup. They've been struggling after back-to-back -back losses. Remember, all these games you can watch live and on demand on the Rugby Network, a wonderful app, absolutely free, where you can watch all the Major League Rugby action this season. You can watch all the games that have already been on. You can watch all the games coming up, like I said, live or on demand. And again, it is absolutely free, so no reason not to download it. Uh, all the kickoff times are Pacific Standard Time, so just remember that. Starting Saturday, March 25th, 12 p.m. kickoff time, we are going to Segra Field for Old Glory DC hosting the NOLA Gold. Man, if there isn't a team that is hotter right now than NOLA Gold, uh, this game is probably the toughest game for me to figure out and decide upon. Uh, I'm not. De I'm definitely not. I've been surprised by NOLA, very surprised at how good they've become. Uh, Old Glory is a team that I feel is going to be one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. But NOLA, again, if there's a team to not go against right now, is NOLA Gold. But I'm going with the home pitch advantage because that is a thing in Major League Rugby as well as in all sports. And I believe Old Glory will come away with the victory. But man, I would not be surprised if NOLA Gold wins this game and it starts to really legitimize their hot streak going on right now in this season. Then we have two games at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Center kickoff time. First, Veterans Memorial, Sta Veterans Memorial Stadium in Boston, Massachusetts, Quincy, Massachusetts. Sorry about that. New England Free Jacks hosting the Dallas Jackals. And again, uh, I really, I still believe the Dallas Jackals will win at least two games this season. But yet again, this is not one of those games. They are going over two the New England Free Jacks, and they have been looking very, very good. Just dominated New York this last weekend. As much as Dallas has been playing with a new sense of direction, with a very, very physical, hard-hitting style, I just don't feel they'll have enough to take down one of the more tougher teams in the league. So New England will walk away with the victory. Then we have another interconference matchup between the Toronto Arrows going over to Zion's Bank Stadium in Utah to take on the streaky Utah Warriors. If anything, both of these teams are very streaky, but really, so far, Toronto has suffered more of the lopsided losses in this game. Again, home pitch advantage goes to Utah. I feel Utah will walk away with the victory over this one over the Toronto Arrows. But it should be a fun game. And finally, the last two games of the weekend. First, the last game on Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We have Rugby ATL going over to Sabercats Stadium in Houston, Texas to take on the Houston Sabercats. Uh, Houston has been very, very good this season so far. Rugby ATL has struggled quite a bit. It's another interconference game. Uh, as I mentioned before, the Western Conference, I feel, is the stronger conference. And they will take down Rugby ATL pretty easily in this game. And then we have the last one, which is a very intriguing game. And as I've been thinking about it, man, I am, I'm more on the fence on this game than I thought I would be. But Sunday, the last game of the weekend, March 26th, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, your Seattle Seawolves, the last remaining undefeated team in the league, going against the Chicago Hounds coming off their very first win in SeatGeek Stadium, which I have to mention because I did mention this before, just announced Major League Rugby will have a neutral site for this season, this year's Major League Rugby Championship game, and it will be at SeatGeek Stadium. So congratulations to Chicago. That should be a fun game regardless of what two teams are there. Um, but Seattle is going over to Chicago. Man, like I said, Chicago's back line is dangerous now that it's at full power with Billy Meeks, Julian Dominguez, uh, Bryce Campbell, Chris Matina. I mean, uh, J.P. Eloff coming off the bench as well. 
Uh, that looks like a very, very capable back line, but Seattle has looked really, really great this season. There is a reason they are so far the last remaining undefeated team in the league. Uh, again, home pitch advantage is a thing, but I just, you know, Chicago still has some communication issues. It, was a, it wasn't a struggle, but it was close beating Dallas. Um, it could have went either way. Seattle has looked really, really good. Coming off of a bye, I feel Seattle will walk away with the victory in this game. But man, I would not be surprised if Chicago Colt holds off a big upset of the season and gets their second win. But I think Seattle will win this one um, and still remain undefeated in the league. So those are my picks. Let me know what you think of them, what your picks are. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching my videos and I'll see you on the pitch.